Hi, welcome to my channel, White Raven's Cauldron. This evening I'm going to be reading for Sagittarius. So this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius somewhere in your chat. This is going to be for January 10th to the 17th. Please bear in mind that these may resonate before and after. I've not been doing my personal reading, uh, my videos for a number of weeks now simply because of the Christmas period, things getting busy and hectic and I didn't want to bring my energy into the cards. So things have sort of calmed down a bit now so I'm, I'm bringing my energy back to the table, back to the cards and cracking back on with the channel. So Archangel Michael, what's coming towards Sagittarius please, January 10th to the 17th. January 10th to the 17th. I'm getting really tongue-tied during this reading, Sagittarius. I feel like somebody can't get the words out properly. They can't get the words, the words out correctly. Somebody's maybe not speaking their truth, speaking their mind. And there's a lot of blockages in communication. Somebody's not wanting, not saying what they need to say. Let's have a look. What is coming towards Sagittarius, please? January 10th to 17th. What is coming towards Sagittarius? January 10th to 17th. What is coming towards Sagittarius? What is coming towards Sagittarius? It feels strange. I've literally not done no videos for weeks. And after doing them night after night, it's very, very bizarre. Alright, so we've got, we've got the Seven of Swords and the Strength Reversed come out. The Seven of Swords is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is... A very, very sneaky, deceptive person who's in your company, Sagittarius. This could be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody who knows you and they're playing games, mind games, manipulation. This is somebody who's quite intelligent, they've got their shit together, but I don't think they realise that they've met their match with you. They're doing something behind your back and they're hoping you don't see, but they're going to be leaving evidence. There's something's going to be found, going to be seen and a decision needs to be made before this person because for whatever reason I'm feeling they're maybe been getting away with this for a long time. Hmm. Let's have a look. What's the strength regarding this please? What's the strength regarding this for Sagittarius? Ooh, the King of Swords reversed, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius again. I'm feeling Aquarius energy here, reversed. So you are definitely being manipulated. This is somebody who's extremely egotistical, very, very narcissistic, not a very nice person at all. They are setting you up, Sagittarius, for failure. This is somebody who doesn't want to see you succeed. Every time you have something good that happens, they don't want to celebrate it with you. They want to celebrate all your downfalls. This is a bully. This is like a typical narcissistic behaviour. Almost like getting caught stealing or cheating. But then whoever comes forward with the information, this cheeky bastard blames that person. Almost like it's not that person's place to tell you or that person's wrong or that person's at fault when really... They're the one at fault, not the person who's delivering the information. Very, very greedy, very materialistic. Their thinking is just disgusting. They've got no empathy. This person doesn't give a shit. They could, they could come across as quite authoritative, but it's overly authoritative. This is someone who demands respect when they walk in a room, but, you know, we're all brought up to believe respect's earned. It's not given. It's not your birthright could also be a father figure here in the mix as well or a male it's, it's, a, it's a very very strong male figure it could be someone in the law enforcement solicitor uh, somebody you know that's it's they've got an intelligent placement within the work setting or this is somebody who believes they're more intelligent than they actually are either way it's just they're an asshole what's the weakness for Sagittarius regarding this please yeah, very, very bullish. They don't like to think outside the box. 
accuse everybody else of everything when they're the one doing it. This is a liar, a manipulator. And they've man manipulated you so well that you don't listen to your intuition anymore. You're shut off. The High Priestess is here to say, you know exactly what's going on, Sag. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but she's here to say, you know exactly what is going on. You need to listen to those niggling thoughts, those intuitions, those, those feelings you get when something's off. You're correct, you're right, you're not crazy. This person is making you feel like you're crazy for thinking what you're thinking, but it's because you're right on the ball with it, Sagittarius. It's, you've got the truth sitting in your hand. I think you're not acting because you've not got enough evidence. You've not found enough evidence to act on. So then maybe you do come across as a crazy person. This person accuses you of being par paranoid, dramatic, and you're not. You're really not. Can I have advice, please? Advice for Sagittarius. The tower reversed. Whew, okay. This person is going to continue to destroy your life. This person will continue to take from you. They're going to take, take, take until there's nothing left and they'll leave you high and dry. Unfortunately for some of you, I think this has been going on long enough now and the universe is like, we are done with this shit. We are done with seeing you suffer. So now we've got to bring in the wrecking ball and completely smash this to pieces because one way or another, it's got to go because someone's mental health could end up being affected or physical health. There may actually be some violence here, domestic abuse. Someone's been domestically abusive. Hmm. Let's get these cards clarified. Let's strap ourselves in. It's going to be scary, Sagittarius. I understand that. But you need to realise that after every storm, there's a rainbow. And this is happening for a reason. This is going to clear the path for you. This is like one of those snow plows, those snow trucks coming through, clearing the path. And it's going to look messy. It's going to look unorganised. But you will get there. Things will get better. Let's clarify. Whew, very, very heavy energy. Okay, what's this Seven of Swords, please? Clarify the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius. Yeah, it's a relationship. Someone has been getting away with way too much in a relationship. They may even be committed in another relationship somewhere else. They're making promises somewhere else. But they're keeping you on standby. Somebody's been kept on standby. But their world is about to come crashing down. Clarify the King of Swords reversed, please, for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Swords reversed. Wow. So we've got the Four of Coins and Faith reversed. That's the Hierophant reversed. This is someone who... almost feel like they have no belief. They just hold on to grudges. They hold on to pointless things. They hold on to the old ways. They're, they're not willing to have an open mind. And this is someone who certainly doesn't stick to vows. You know, this is somebody who could be engaged to several other people as well. And they just keep people in their pocket. Everyone's got a use to this person. They're an abuser. What's the High Priestess, please? Clarify the High Priestess. Definitely abusive. An abuse of power. Someone has got an abuse of power here. Whatever they signed up for, they're not withholding. The Page of Cups could be a child involved. A child may be involved or there's someone wanting to offer love and support. A younger person possibly, male. But I am feeling a childlike energy. There's a childlike energy surrounding this. And you need to you need to remain strong. You need to remain strong. There's a lot of things that are going to be coming around for you. You just can't see them right now because I think of all the chaos. But whatever reason, this person just won't let go. It may be a pregnancy for some, an unexpected pregnancy. Hmm. 
Okay, one more for the high priestess, please, for Sagittarius. But there's definitely going to be some emotional support. One more for the high priestess. Four of wands reversed, and we also got the five of wands. So yeah, this needs, I can understand how difficult it is for home breaking up losing things possibly losing the house losing the home the possessions but they're just possessions you can start again you don't need this baggage this shit let this person hang on to that crap if it's yours by law then obviously take it it's your you know it's your god-given right but this person is just so greedy greedy narcissistic and it's causing major major upset what's the tower reverse please the chariot reversed everything could be dealing with a cancer everything's out of control very very out of control it's almost like nobody's nobody's running the show now everything's just chaotic it's it's like a, a load of bulls are just stampeding through your life and you need to get some control there's, there's no movement here no what you get yeah, no one's moving away from this yeah, someone's definitely stepped out with a relationship. They've definitely cheated. We've got the Three of Swords. Major, major heartbreak. Somebody can't control their behaviour, their, their wants. They're very, very gluttonous. Seven of Coins. Eight of Swords. Trapped. Trapped. Somewhat, it's almost like you were holding on to see if things could get better. But it just caused more anxiety, more pain, more paranoia. Can I have a final outcome? Could I have a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn? Yeah, there's too many people in the mix, Sagittarius. It's going to be devastating. It's going to be upsetting. You're going to mourn the loss, but this connection has made you extremely ill. You need to take time out. You need to take time out for your mental health. Your, you know, There's so many good things that the universe is going to bring in, and there'll be so many good things left once this connection's finished, but... There's too many delays. This person's delaying your your life. Like if you need to you need to stop what you're doing and look at your life and think, is this what I am alive for? Is this what I'm here for? No, it's not. You were here for something else, Sagittarius, and this isn't it. This was just a lesson that needed to be learned. <clears throat> While you're stuck in this commitment, things aren't gonna get better. Things are just going to get worse and worse. There is a major block that I can't, I can't see past it. It's almost like this person's got me in this reading as well. I can't see past it because it's so heavy. It's so shit. But you need to get out of this situation for your own well-being. And again, if there's children involved, fuck the house, fuck everything. It's all replaceable. You and your family are not replaceable, Sagittarius. Can I have a witch's wisdom for Sagittarius, please? The universe wants to bring happiness in, but it's certainly not going to let this other individual have it. So the universe is like, I can't bring you your gifts, what you deserve, until this situation is gone. We've got fragment, which is, a, you know, it's a moment in time. You've got to look at this moment in time. Can I have an energy card, please, for Sagittarius? I'll, I'll read, I'll do the meanings in a minute, Sagittarius. Oracle card, please, for Sagittarius. Okay, so we've got Angel of Balance. So the first card, Fragment, is family, friends, work, study activities can all seem unrelated you are always whole even if at times things feel separate and fragmented that is only an illusion choosing this symbol reminds you that all the moving parts of your life are important if the one you're asking about seems confusing focus on the one that brings clarity this you know this card sees you as whole regardless of how disconnected things seem but you need to remember to take a step back when you're trying to understand something because you may be looking at only one piece of a giant puzzle, a fragment of the truth. See the big picture and no matter what, you need to remember that all will be well. Let's get um, let's get this second card. 
this loving presence holds a pitcher of liquid. It's a liquid of light in front of the pyramids, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity. equanimity. <laughs> Although things may have been out of sync in the past, this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming to your life. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy. Whenever you feel yourself getting off centre or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her intention into your heart centre. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction and the angel will guide you to a peaceful and centred approach. So that was your reading Sagittarius, January 10th to the 17th. Let me know in the comments section if this resonates. Like, share, subscribe, keep your kitchen which happy by giving me a big thumbs up and I'll see you all again soon.